Alfa Romeo and Jaguar are hardly synonymous with producing performance SUVs of note, yet both brands do, and do so brilliantly. The weapons of mass transportation you see here are the Stelvio Quadrifoglio and f SVR, and both want to give Porsche Macan and the Mercedes AMG GLC a bloody nose. And let's be honest, they do it with charm and style. The engine powering Alfa's hot rod on steels is familiar from the Giulia Quadrifoglio Super Sedan. It's a 2.9 liter V6 derived from Ferrari's F154A V8. That's right, there is a breathing heart with Maranello's DNA all over it. The 90 degree engine has two turbochargers, a weight saving aluminum cylinder head and linked up to a carbon fiber drive shaft. It's mated to an 8 speed automatic sourced from Germany's ZF, which is said to be capable of ballistically fast 150 millisecond gear shift in race mode. The all wheel drive system defaults to rear wheel drive system in most driving situations, but the transfer case can divert half the engine's torque to the front wheels when the onboard or brain sense loss of traction. Outputs are 510 horsepower at 6500 rpm and 600 Nm between 2500 and 5000 rpm and the dream for the class 1830 kg curb weight about 260 kg lighter than the Mercedes AMG GLC 63S gives the car a formidable power to weight ratio of 280 horsepower per ton. The 0 to 100 km per hour time is just 3.8 seconds. For a little extra context, a Porsche Macan Turbo's 2.9 liter twin turbo V6 engine makes 440 horsepower and 550 Nm. It weighs 1973 kg and it may claim a 0 to 100 km per hour time of 4.5 seconds. You quickly see what an outlier the fearsome Alpha is. As intended, the engine is quite tame and even refining when you are doddering around in natural or advanced efficiency driving mode, controlling by a circular dial near the shifter. The latter mode even engages cylinder deactivation and decoupled ceiling in low stress situations to conserve fuel. But twirl the rotary dial of dynamic or race mode and the four outlets from the two mode exhaust system snarl and crackle under heavy throttle, higher pitched and angrier than your last typical V8 and pop with every upshift. From outside is fragile and from inside hardly muted. It absolutely hammers in a straight line, pinning you into the bucket seat while you're holding tightly onto the wheel and watching the speedo climb uninterrupted rather quickly. This is an engine that delivers orally, emotionally and technically. It's the heart and soul of the car. The gearbox is happiest when you are running it in the wall drive line can get fidgety, reminding one of a turbocharger being restrained barely by its rider's tight grip on the rain. The paddle shifters are gorgeous to hold but calm mounted so they don't move with the wheel when turning. In terms of fuel economy, the V6 meets Euro 6 emission standards and climbs a combining cycle fuel use is 10.2 liter per 100 km. That's when driving sensibly. If you decide to have some fun, don't be surprised to see this figure climb by 50%. Jaguar took a very different approach to powering its SUV flagship. It uses a 5 liter supercharged V8 making 550 horsepower at 6500 rpm and 680 Nm between 2500 and, and 5500 rpm so 40 horsepower and 80 newton meter more than the alpha though its heavier tire mass 1936 kilograms means the 280 horsepower per ton power to weight figure is inferior it also uses an on-demand all-wheel drive system with a rear bias but which can allocate 90 percent of torque on demand to the front wheels and an A-speed torque converter automatic linking to aluminum paddles. Jaguar climbs a 4.3 seconds 0 to 100 km per hour time which is half a second off the Alpha but still disarmingly quick for a big SUV that weighs more than 2 tons with occupants aboard. Among the very 
driver's driving program is SVR specific dynamic mode that initiates faster and more responsive gear shifts, sharper throttle responses and increases steering weight. The transmission is far more eager to downshift aggressively for you in this setting than in more eco-focused focused modes. Jaguar's variable active exhaust system cuts 6.6 kg in weight over the regular exhaust but more importantly it enhances the noise. Its electronically controlled valves can open or close at any point as opposed to just opening at a certain engine revolution or pressure level. This means the engine even sounds rumbly and whiny at low speeds and under part throttle load before taking off into full body wine gargling Niles territory at higher loads. The supercharger wine is there as is the more rapid response from low in the rev band. I'd love a little more overrun cracking coil. On a slight tangent, the Jaguar front and features bigger intake grills and bonnet vents and air channels over the brake and around the slide of the car. The rear has small air channels built into the bottom straps of the bumper bar. The exhaust outlets are all legit, so the four you see facing out the rear and plumbed from the engine. Jaguar cites a fuel economy climb of 11.7 liters per 100 kilometers. And again I say good luck merchant that once you decide to actually use the throttle as intended. It's fair to say that the engines will be key purchasing factors in both vehicles on test and they are different enough that is easy to fall into either comp. The Alpha is quicker and crisper, the jack bellows and grow, and superchargers are uncommon these days. Neither of these cars makes a leap of sense in the conventional way, but both are ball tearing fun muscle car on stills that make the automotive landscape more interesting and dynamic by virtue of their mere existence. The Alfa Romeo style quadrifolio is basically a mega hatchback with a smidget more room, such is its remarkable dynamic ability. And that Ferrari derived engine sounds so good, you will be seeking tunnels at every opportunity. But to my mind, the Jaguar fills the brief with fever compromises. It still looks, sounds and goes brilliantly, but the cabin has more polish and tech and its value equation is superior despite the fact several necessary features are extra cost options. It's also marginally easier to live with.